started to talk about the okay. strategy but we never really fleshed out the strategy we were going to be using so we did some research about the different types of well um, um uh, i yes. have a real job so i don't have time I to can. be doing I can. Much. all right Kara, i'm going to work i'll see you later <laughs> oh, it's not 10 o'clock so i have done the research <laughs> in terms of the different types of ways that you can invest in property. The first one is the burr strategy. The burr, the burr method, burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Buy, repair, refinance, rinse, repeat. Buy, repair, It's rinse, not rinse, rinse repeat. repeat. That's, it's not, you're not doing your hair. You buy, you remodel, you rent, and then you refinance, and then you repeat. So you purchase a property that needs some fixing up, right? So you're gonna get it for less than the market value. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna put additional money into it to repair it up. As you gain additional equity through repairing the property, later down the line, after you've shown that you've rented it out for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. you're able to go to the bank and you're mm -hmm. able to refinance it. Mm -hmm. And you're able to take money out of the equity, out of the property, and then repeat the process to mm. use that as down payment for an additional property. So it helps you build up a portfolio faster, which I actually really, really love that um, approach. If it was cheap enough and you could just purchase the property outright, I don't know if that's possible. To purchase it outright. Now, $20,000 is not, what, what property you're purchasing for $20,000? Okay. okay, so you can't purchase the property. What are you trying out? to buy, a hut? I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about the fact that so now you have to have a, you need to pay back a loan for, for, for fixing up the place. Yes. And then you need to pay back the loan for the actual mortgage. Yes. Right? So then you're refinancing. Mm -hmm. You're refinancing and purchasing another property. So now I have two loans there and then the next property and I have two loans there. Maybe that strategy kind of sort of makes sense to me. I'd have to think through that a little bit more. As we yeah. Talk. Okay. So what's another strategy? Um, okay. So we have fix and flips. So fix and flips. So I like fix and flips. I only know about fix and flips because of TLC. All Learning those shows starts you watch. somewhere. <laughs> I've read articles. Um, yeah. Because you had the time to. <laughs> fix and flip is essentially fix and flip. So you purchase a property that needs some repairs, whether it be okay. cosmetic, structural. Uh -huh. Once you fix that thing up, you're selling it and you're making back the money that you invested Ooh. into it plus some. What if we just continuously bought houses that needed to be fixed and flipped? So like I know if we yeah, but that actually takes bread to do that, like to to really like. Well, okay, no, but if we put the twenty thousand dollars into the first house, fix and flipped it, and then we got the money back, then why wouldn't we take that next money, that money right. that we just earned, to fix and flip the next house, and then eventually, depending on, are you yawning while I'm talking? Yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> We're not making any income from that property until we actually sell it. So the duration of time that it would take oh. to purchase the property, to fix it up, that could be, it depends. That's if it's something goal. like, say, 10 months or a year or a year and a half, mm -hmm. there is no income coming in from that house. Mm -hmm. you, you still have to pay mortgage. Fix and flip is good for like, maybe like, you know, bigger investors who are more, um, who have more experience? Who have say? experience? What you trying we to say? We don't got no experience. We gonna be rich. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but <laughs> we still don't have the experience, so. But we got the positivity. Okay, next, house hacking. House hacking. Um, yeah. Is that like when you hack into a computer? And you like take something? I know you read something about this, so cut the nonsense. <laughs> what is house hacking? you own the house itself and then there's a portion there's a space within the house that you rent out in order to help you pay yeah so right. whether it's a mm -hmm. multi-family house that you're purchasing so if it's two family house and you live on in one unit and then you rent out the second unit mm -hmm. or if it's a house with multiple bedrooms and then mm -hmm. you want to rent out certain rooms why we can't house hack is because if we're in if we're investing in out-of-state property one of us would actually have to live in that property and That's i'm not moving part. out of new york you don't right want to go live in alabama when we said we're going to, sweet home Alabama. How can I pursue acting and live in Alabama right now? What do you now? mean? Why do you have to live? There's no jobs in Alabama? 
I didn't say they aren't, but if I get an audition tomorrow, then I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm flying it. Like, where's that money come from? So no matter what, we can't do house hacking. We can't do house hacking, no. Well, we didn't talk about the fourth strategy, which seems like What's the, the strategy that we should do, the long-term buy and hold rental. Oh, okay. So yeah, we can, what, what, is, what is that? That sounds like long-term something. Yeah, you buy and hold it long term and you rent it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Self-explanatory. Okay, so that's simple. So that that's what I mean it's not so happening. simple as it sounds. You have to make sure that you get um good tenants that are gonna consistently pay their rent. Tenants that are not going to um you know, wreck the property, mm -hmm. cause us more money in repairs and things like that. I mean, that's why I was saying before you, when we first started looking into things that I'd like to do it near a college. Right, but you're forgetting the fact of mm -hmm. the turnover rate is going to be great because as they are graduating, mm -hmm. they're going to be leaving. And so every time if they're leaving and taking furniture out and this and this, that's causing more damage to the property, one. And two, you have to pay money to your property manager every time they secure a new tenant. So that's more money out of pocket. So that's eating into our proceeds. You want to get a family, but you can't charge the same price that you would if you've got a natural family to move in there. Or you're looking for just, you're looking for- Which is why we should purchase a property that needs a little fixing up so that it's less money, uh -huh. fix it up, and then we'll gain equity. So that will help us out. I want to get a property that needs to be fixed. You need to be fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a property that needs to be fixed so we can purchase it at a lower rate and then rent it out once it's been updated. Okay, cool. I, I agree. Okay. I'm focusing on making the money for my down payment. I mean, I'm focusing on, are you focusing on making money for the down payment? Yeah, I worked like three times last week. Or okay, you, you worked all those times, but what money did you put into the down payment? I told you about that 71 cents. <laughs> she still has not put in the 71 cents. I had cents. to wait for it to clear. <laughs> <laughs> she had to wait on 71 cents to clear. Hence the reason she does all the research and I'm putting money toward things because... Right now, we're waiting on 71 cents to clear. If you think that I'm smarter than my sister here and I'm more enjoyable to watch, you should definitely hit... <laughs> like, subscribe. Hit the like, ding! Hit Click on that notification bell so you can get notified every time we release a new video. Oh, that's the notification bell. I said hit the like. Thank you so much for watching <laughs> this week's episode of Fingers Crossed. Oh, and comment! Day. We want to talk to you guys. I and you. <laughs> stay tuned for our next episode where we really narrow in on where the heck are we going do to we? invest. Do we? Because I have narrowed in and you still won't. I mean, I'm still holding out for New York a little bit. Mm. I guess we'll be doing some more research on New York so we can figure out exactly how we can just keep everything here without a property manager. Yeah. All right. Do